mind pure. But it is extremely important to live with your heart pure because from out of that place flows everything else. And so what I ask you tonight is who is on your throne? Because whoever is on your throne will dictate the purity level within your life. So who is on your throne tonight? Isn't she a stud? Isn't she awesome? Hi, we're almost done. I'm a guy who needs practical application. Now, Bethany has dropped some awesome stuff on us. We literally just set it right in our lap. It's like, what do I do with this now? Guys, I'm going to break this down. I'm going to make it really simple. I want you to picture some stuff with me real quick. And if you, if you were here last time I came and spoke to the youth, that you probably heard me use this analogy. I'm going to use it again. If you hang out with me if you, enough, you're probably going to hear it again because it's awesome. Picture everything that you have inside of you for Christ as a fire. I mean, it's, it's a fire. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? When, when you're worshiping, you feel it. It's a fire inside of you. That's easy to picture. picture. Picture yourself absolutely ablaze for the Lord. Now picture your purity, your character, whatever you want to picture as a fireplace. Okay? If you have the passion for Christ and you have a fireplace to put it in, there is no limit to the light that can shine or the heat and the warmth and the comfort that you can provide inside your temple inside your, your home, whatever. But I want you guys to picture this. If there's no fireplace for that fire, if it's just out in the open, one of two things is going to happen. One of two things, possibly both. Either that fire is just going to eventually die out because it, it has nothing to, to corral it, nothing to hold it. It's just going to fall apart and die. Second thing, it will burn your house down. It will ruin you if you have 